Today I'm going to talk to Martijn Aretz. Come in, Martin. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> How nice it is to have a bench Welcome. like this. Martijn, you yeah. are going to Israel. Yeah, that's right. Why? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, there are cool things going on over there. What's going on over there? Yeah, there are many, many startups over, over there in Israel, uh, many tech startups. So I already met some, uh, some entrepreneurs from Israel uh, all over the globe, but not in Israel itself. So uh, yeah, that's why. So I'm going yeah. to uh, be there from the 10th of December till the 19th and do there about 12 interviews. Nice. Uh, you're going to Tel Aviv. That's really a, a startup uh, uh, area in uh, in Israel. Uh, one of the main startup areas in the world, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, you're going to do 12 interviews. Who are you going to talk to? Uh, I have no idea yet. Oh, uh, but I'm now busy with uh, planning <laughs> the interviews. But you already have the tickets. Yeah, of course, of okay. course. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to focus on the question. Uh, I'm going to see it over here. Uh, the, the, the main question is, uh, I'm going to search for platform disruptors that are giving the power back in the hands of, the pe of people using decentralized tools. And okay. that's uh, quite a lot of what I say. I, uh, I can imagine about what you see happening now in the platform economy. What they're doing from the outside is quite new. But how they are financed and how they are organized from the inside, they're really, really old fashioned. So in the end, uh, many people are adding value to the platform, but just a few people are making profit of the value, and that are the founders and the investors. And there are quite some cool things going on in, in, in Israel of, of startups who are working with the uh, blockchain protocol of, of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, and with that technique, you can build decentralized organizations where also other people who are putting value in the platform get it value out of the platform. So it's, it's, it's a much more fair uh, model. Okay, and you mentioned you're going to have 12 interviews. You, you don't know who you are. Who you are. Whoa. You don't know yet who you are going to talk to? Uh, some of them, uh, some I know, them. yeah. Can you, can yeah, you name yeah. a few? Yes, first as Friday I'm going to have uh, uh, an interview with uh, with uh, uh, with Joff. He's head of innovation and cyber tech of the uh, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yeah. Uh, and also the guy, uh, Oren, he's uh, now uh, the, 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 the leader of Indiegogo in Israel mm. and he's also running a, 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 a startup block. Okay. Uh, so with them I'm going to talk about the how the entrepreneurial world in yep. Israel is, uh, and why, and what's going on, and, and, and why things are going on. And then in uh, uh, the, the second week I'm going to do many interviews with the entrepreneurs who are doing it themselves, like yeah, like also Major Field of, of Lazus, it's a decentralized ride sharing platform, it's like a Uber, but then decentralized, he also have a, uh, has a company, it's called, let's see, uh, I've got the name, uh, Backfeed. Yeah. So they're now using the technique of Lasso is also for other solutions. And I'm also uh, going into with a uh, decentralized social network. So it's a Facebook, but then uh, decentralized. Mm -hmm. So they're all, and it's also for me really a quest because <coughs> I know what the possibilities are of these blockchain techniques, <coughs> but I'm not that deep in it to really understand. And I think that's also the problem with the blockchain. Uh, the potential is huge, but the stories, they're, real, they're, they're really technical. And I'm going to search for the vertical practical solutions uh, where people are really building something based on the blockchain. Okay, and how are you going to find these companies or how are you going to arrange these meetings? Yeah, uh, it's a small world. Uh, so what I did is I posted a post on Facebook mm -hmm. and also tagged some 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 uh, influencers uh, I know in the post. So, yeah. so, so they started helping me by also tagging other people in the post. I uh, was introduced via via just, just mm -hmm. by coincidence uh, the, to the guy from the uh, from, uh, from the ministry, and he was also going to help uh, me, and also help me to connect with some professors over there. Yep. Maybe I, I'm also go, uh, going to give a lecture uh, in 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 the, in the university over there. So it's it's just really easy to 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 connect. Okay. So and I think it's also really typical of the of the Israeli startup scene. It's really small. Everybody knows everybody. So uh, from now I have only or only five interviews planned. Uh, but I really believe that 12 interviews is no problem and maybe I'm going to do even more. When I was in Kellogg in Chicago uh, for my MBA, I had this uh, professor giving lectures in Chicago, oh. but he was also, and I, I think of it right now, uh, I, I think d uh, a dean in uh, Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. in the university over there. And I still have his contact details, so I, yeah. I can introduce yeah. you to him. Yeah, so that's how it works. And, 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 that's and this uh, is not, uh, uh, we didn't uh, uh, talk about this no. before. This is no. But no. as yeah. you mentioned it, yeah, his name yeah. is Al Maos, and he's one of the 
best professors, um, uh, best lecturers I've uh, I've uh, I've seen in my life. Yeah, I really cool. really enjoyed this. Cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's what I really like about the time we're living right now because it's really easy to have access to everybody yeah. uh, as long as you add value for everybody involved. And it's the same. I just sent out a, a, a one or two tweets and a Facebook message, so everybody can do that. Uh, and then in, in a couple of hours, uh, I already had contact with the guy from the ministry and all some other guys. So yeah, it's really, brilliant. Yeah. really easy. Cool. Anything else you want to share? No, I don't think so. So, so uh, if you have any questions, just tweet them to at Crown Expedition or to at Martin Aritz. Yeah, and you can follow all the interviews and check them out on the YouTube channel. Yeah. And that's youtube.com slash Vision. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, of course, there will be uh, all videos of the interviews in Israel. Yeah. And I also keep my daily blog or, or, or video blog when I'm there. Yeah. And you say don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, but also don't hesitate to place uh, re- uh, comments below the videos and Martijn will uh, answer them all. Of course. Cool. Okay, back to work. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.